Today we investigate walking on water. Is it possible? Hi everyone, your creative educator here, and welcome to Sparks the Flames Education, where you get great science, math, and reading content, and really fun and creative ways of inspiring learning. Remember to subscribe, hit the notification so that you can see our new videos on Mondays. Like and share, and yes, subscribe now! Water is so very important, and it's such an interesting molecule. Sometimes water can act like a magnet. It can stick to things and water can actually stick to other water molecules. Because water molecules stick to other water molecules kind of like a magnet, there's this interesting thing that happens that's called cohesion. Yes, people, cohesion. That's water molecules stick into another water molecule. And because of that, water is able to transfer and travel all the way up from the roots of a plant, all the way through the stem and out through the leaf in a process known as transpiration. Take a look at this one. As you can see, the water goes in through the root, it goes all the way up through the stem and pop, out through the leaves. When water molecules stick to each other, it creates something that is called surface tension. Surface tension occurs when water is in a container and it builds up and builds up and builds up, but the water does not spill over. It creates a tension on the surface of the water. Check out this next video. This one, I definitely encourage you to try at home. So get a small container or a large container, it really doesn't matter, and you're gonna fill it all the way to the top with water. But wait, you don't stop. You keep adding water, keep adding water, keep adding water, and what you're gonna see is a water mountain. The water is gonna build up way over the top of the container, and it's gonna create a surface tension. Now, you're gonna take a small paper clip and you're going to try to gently place the paper clip on top of the water so that it does not break the surface tension and it does not fall in. It may take a couple tries, but give it a try. Now, if you were able to get the paper clip to float on top of the water, then this video will be no surprise to you. But check it out, look at this insect. This insect is actually walking on water. And as you look at the water surface, you can actually see the tension. You can actually see the force that the insect presses down on the water, but then you see the tension in the water that holds the insect from falling in. Walking on water based on surface tension. Who knew? Thank you for watching this video. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe, and see you next Monday.